so I'm gradually kind of losing track of days. First there's the time difference, and then there's the fact that I'm working on the previous day's vlog every morning. Uh, so it's, it's weird thinking of what's actually happening that day. I did end up having the room to myself the whole night. I'm glad I didn't uh, use another one of the beds because uh, you have to pay the maids like $7 for every bed they have to remake. Um, so it's a <laughs> good thing I didn't do that. The uh, continental breakfast here was good. Um, it was a nice variety. Um, had a couple different kinds of uh, fruit. I think one was lychee and then I honestly don't know. Or, and then there's watermelon and then I, I don't know what the other uh, two were. And then they had this uh, little cake and a uh, pad of uh, sticky rice and some uh, Thai barbecue pork. It was very good. Um, so again, it was thirteen dollars for what ended up being the whole room to myself and breakfast. So that's <laughs> can't really do better than that. And then I started heading uh, east back into the uh, area with all the malls I was talking about. I was trying to figure out what to do for uh, lunch. I actually went through a couple, of, a couple of the malls that I went to before. I was gonna get a drink at this uh, cafe at the top of one of the malls. The drinks were kind of expensive, and again, I, w I had a big breakfast, so I wasn't hungry. So I uh, left the cafe politely. As I was walking back down the stairs through the mall, I realized that I forgot my uh, camera at the cafe, so I had to run up and grab that. I was trying to stay near the um, pier that I was gonna be taking the boat from to get to the next or to this hotel. I eventually settled on a, just 7-Eleven for lunch and drinks. But then the big problem was where was I allowed to eat those? I, I mean, technically I could eat them on the street, but I didn't want to just like be sitting on the sidewalk or anything like that. So there's a, uh, there's a shrine near the boat stop. It's uh, dedicated to penises. I just thought that was uh, too funny to pass up. So I um, headed there after going through a uh, Kind of a weird mall. Um, it was like half of it was closed and um, half of it was massage parlors. It was weird. So when I got to the shrine, um, it was kind of in the end of a back road. It was like all private property and it didn't it was weird I didn't actually see any indication other than on my GPS app that that was what was there it was weird to be disappointed that I couldn't get into the I couldn't eat at the penis shrine I went through this other mall where they had this uh, nice open area up at the top for various uh, uses And then eventually I ended up just uh, <laughs> basically sitting, not on the curb, but uh, kind of sitting back on the, it was like near some bushes, I was sitting and I ate there. I went back to the um, boat stop. Got on that eventually. That was a little weird. Um, like every time it would, uh, hit a stop on the river or the canal, um, the like operator or whatever would, not the operator, but there was like a person whose job it was to kind of tie it up. And so like every, like over the course of 10 seconds or whatever, he would jump out, tie it up so the boat didn't go away and then people would get on and then he'd get, he'd untie it and then go back up. So it's 
impressive how in, uh, efficiently they did that. Like every time it would stop, a bunch of like smog would come up in the boat engine, so it was a little disconcerting. But uh, it was pretty fun to just kind of fly through it once the boat would pick up speed. Um, so I guess it's kind of my preferred method of transport now, but I don't know how many places that'll really come in handy um, because it has to be something along that canal. I didn't realize that I had to actually like stand up to signal that I was getting off the next stop. I thought it was just stopping at every stop because then I saw people at the pier. Um, and uh, so the boat didn't stop. And then a bunch of people started standing up for the next stop. So I just stood up then, so I got off. I headed towards the uh, area that the hotel was supposed to be in. Uh, ended up being a little bit more uh, stressful than I thought it was. Um, like normally, I just you know head to the point on the map. I was not able to find the hotel, so I was like pacing back and forth around this neighborhood. Earlier, I had uh, um, withdrawn some money from the ATM because I was kind of running low on cash, and I got this uh, coupon from the ATM for a free Coke if I were to presented to a uh, family mart and so uh, while I was looking for the new hotel there happened to be family mart so I, <laughs> it's like it's kind of nice to be pacing back and forth in a hot area and then just be able to get a free soda out of it and then uh, finally I went into this 7-eleven uh, and was asking them I was like where is this and the people behind the counter uh, was like, had a motorcycle and so uh, like a minute later I was on his motorcycle and he was dropping me off and like it was just couple blocks over. It only uh, cost me a uh, 10 baht to get over there, which is less than a buck. It's like 30 cents, I think. But the uh, hotel is interesting. <sighs> All kinds of goodies. And they even give you like... <laughs> premium toiletries if you want to buy them. So condoms and mouthwash. The bathroom's really weird. So that's the shower. <laughs> so, uh, like if it was tile, it would make more sense. But this is like, I mean, I mean, it's not wood, but it looks like wood. So it's weird to be, it's gonna be weird to be showering on wood. What the? What? What is, what is that? Oh. <laughs> There are two doors. What's the point of it all? This room is only, um, with tax, like $20. Um, uh, there's things about it I don't like, but, uh, $20. It's hard to complain about anything at that price point. So I found out that I'm going to be getting, uh, some promotions on Hotels.com pretty quickly. So you, know, you get a stamp for every night you stay in a hotel, and then after ten stamps, you stay. You can you have credit to stay in a place that's the medium median average of the places you stayed at. After you've done ten rooms a year, um, you upgraded to silver, and then after you've done thirty, you upgraded to gold. And there's supposed to be special deals for that. But it's like I'm essentially sleeping in a different bed every night, so it's not gonna take that long for me to get to the uh, 30 beds a month or whatever. So I hung out and, uh, did a little bit of work, and, um, around, like, 7 I went to dinner at the restaurant downstairs. And I had some, uh, deep-fried squid. There was a, uh, um, I guess it was kind of a karaoke place, but it was, there was an actual, like, I guess band, kind of. It was a guy and a girl um, doing various songs. Um, so I got to have some live music for the night.
ended up getting a lot of different random sunburns um, along my neck. It basically looks like I have like a huge hickey right down there. And then uh, my head is still going crazy. Tomorrow, since it's still kind of the weekend, there's a floating market, which is um, where a lot of the uh, vendors are on boats. And this uh, canal um, is one of those uh, just northeast of here or something like that. I booked a hotel around there, and then I'm gonna be on the bus going out there. So like, I'm gonna be on the bus for like 50 minutes. So in the last uh, day or two, while I've been on subway, boat, motorcycle. I wish I had gotten footage of the motorcycle, but it just, it just happened so quickly. I was like, I was at 7-Eleven and then a minute later I was on a motorcycle. <laughs> now there'll be a, a bus too, which like I said, um, they're not all air conditioned. So hopefully I can get one that's air conditioned. So I got a couple more uh, snacks. There's a corn puffs with the seaweed and soy sauce. It smells good. It's actually kind of a weird flavor, the corn and seaweed. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. Bueno white bar, uh, Kinder, they do like the Kinder eggs. They're all divided up in a little package. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, it's like, it's like pudding on the inside. It's not just normal cream, it's, it's very uh, luscious. Like, it's really good. I almost feel like I did something wrong having that. This place is called Babua Asotel. What the hell does Asotel mean? 